Hey guys, this is Nephis here, and today we're going to be reviewing and dissecting the set Mending in the Elder Scrolls Online, where and when to use it, how it works, and if it's good to use for support roles, primarily healers. As we can see here, Mending has very good healing bonuses, including Magic Recovery, Maximum Magicka, 2% healing done, and the fifth piece bonus is when you use an area of effect heal ability, you reduce the weapon damage of all enemies within 10 meters of you by 430 for 3 seconds. Basically, it means it reduces the incoming damage from the infected targets, whether they're NPCs, players, or bosses. How you can wear mending is up to you. It can be situational in the fight, or your available gear setup, uh, whether it's 5 piece body or uh, on one bar. Now we're going to see how exactly mending works and what skills can proc mending. 10 meters is not that far of a distance. Basically, as seen in the video, you'll pretty much be near the enemy NPCs or bosses. You need to debuff with mending. In addition, as you guys can observe, Mending acts like the old elemental drain. When it debuffs something, it automatically puts you in combat and draws aggro from the affected targets, although it does not actually damage them. Skills that can proc Mending include Mutagen, Energy Orbs, Breath of Life, Vigor, the rest of Ultimate, both Morphs of Ritual from the Templar skill line, Combat Prayer, Healing Spring, Swung of Growth, and the Warden Tree Ultimate. Strangely enough, budding scenes from the Warden skill line does not seem to proc mending at all, despite being an area of effect heal ability, so you guys will have to test for yourself uh, certain skills. The mending set seems to also have a limit of 6 targets at a time, potentially can proc it on more than 6 as long as you can get within range of the other targets. Uh, it also seems to have some sort of weird targeting issues, even if you're within range and you're not looking at the target, so that may be just a little bug there. Despite it saying weapon damage in the tooltip, which is a bit confusing, it still affects the outgoing damage from bosses and mobs despite their type of damage, whether it's physical based or not. So in the Lightning Storm Matronach as an example and other magic damage based bosses or enemies, Mending still brings down their damage. It doesn't seem to be cased for players, however, as this player's weapon damage went down, but not their spell damage, which means that all NPCs only have weapon damage and not spell damage, which is a very interesting peek into how the game is coded. As for the type, of damage that gets affected, Mending will only affect damage that comes directly from the bosses or mobs themselves. For example, Mending will only reduce the damage of, uh, let's say, Veteran Maul or Kaja's Rakat, Light Heavy Attacks, his Barrage and Pad Slams. It will not reduce the damage of environmental damage, such as the Void Spheres, Unstable Voids, and the Curses. Another example where Mending is more effectively used is on the Assembly General Hard Moon in Bed Halls of Fabrication, where the stomps and missile barrages are all mitigated by mending as it comes directly from the boss and not the environment. So in order to use mending effectively, you basically need to fulfill, fulfill uh, two requirements. Number one, you have to be in range in order for mending to work. Number two, mending must only be used for direct damage coming from the bosses or mobs. I'll put a list of fights where you could definitely use mending to great effect in the description down below. But uh, hopefully some of you guys have learned a bit from this video. And as always, have fun, stay safe, and have a great adventure, guys. Um, I am moving soon, so this may be one of the last videos I can upload before I get busy. Uh, until then, I hope you guys stay safe as well.